Hello and welcome back. This is Josh. We've got a Springfield XD45 Auto with us today. This is the old school Croatian made one. I don't recall what year it was. Um, I know they're now made in the U.S. This gun was made in Croatia for U.S. sale. Just to point that out. Um, it's classified as a single action meaning there's no trigger until the gun is cocked. Technically, most all of these striker-fired guns are single action. Um, the idiots at Glock think that their gun's double action. Well, if you don't load the chamber and you pull the trigger, you might get one drop, but you're not going to get more than one. So, hello, sports fans. That's not double action. Double action means you pull it as many times as you want, and the hammer drops every time, providing the safety isn't engaged. And guess what? None of these guns have safeties. <laughs> That brings us to safeties. This has a similar, in my opinion, superior um, trigger safety. Basically, the first part of the pull disengages the internal safeties. The second part of the pull drops the hammer. Um, it also has a grip safety. The grip safety keeps you from cocking the gun or from pulling the trigger. Let me go ahead and put it back into the... See that? Nothing. You probably can hear that spring. Maybe not. Um, it has ambidextrous magazine drop. It also has ambidextrous thumb rest. I don't particularly use the thumb rest. Big hands, but I use a little bit of it, I guess. Uh, it's got scalloped front and back for tactical reloads. Uh... To tell you the truth, I've heard all kinds of rumors about how much this gun weighs, considering it's basically in prototype stage. I'm not even going to bother saying what they say it weighs, but it's somewhere around 30-some ounces. Uh, to disassemble it, basically you lock it open, flip the lever up, drop the slide, and you could also just uh, yank the slide back. Anyways, then you pull the trigger, and just like a Glock, pulls right off the frame. Uh, the frame looks a little bit like the rest of the other plastic pistols out there. It's better in some ways and worse in others. This particular one needs to get cleaned. I just got it back. Okay, we got recoil spring. It's a bit different than some as well. And then we have the barrel. The barrel is actually far superior to most of these designs. It's not especially thick or anything like that, but the engagement that it has with its home in the top end of the frame, or the slide, or the bolt technically, <clears throat> is much better. Um, the top end is actually much more common, and all the springs are very heavy duty and strong. It has three dot sights. These particular ones are non-adjustable. They probably call them combat sights or something like that. All in all, it's a really good gun. Um, basically, it's a stainless steel frame, or a slide at least, in a few parts of the frame, and then it's got melanite finish. Supposedly, the newer guns have a different finish. And there's also the XDM. M, again, supposedly, is supposed to be marksman model. So they're implied as being more accurate. This particular gun is not especially accurate. Um, it's raw. Well, it's pretty much on par with a Glock, but. If you compare it to something like my high point, which is actually incredibly accurate, it's not very. Um, mostly plastic in the frame. You got a couple of metal inserts, basically on the wear points, the springs, of course. It's a good design. Um, it does have a Picatinny rail. I don't know if I mentioned that. Picatinny tack rail, utility rail. It will actually work with regular Picatinny and or adjustable, fairly adjustable weaver uh, mounts. So it's easy to work on, it's easy to clean. Most of the parts are either plastic or they're finished with something so you can clean this thing basically with simple green. A um, couple of problems with this gun, well one it's recoil operated so it inherently is going to have recoil oriented accuracy problems due to the fact that every time you pull the trigger and the gun goes off the barrel cams back even without the gun moving because that part is going to move when the slide comes back and catches it and I'll explain that to you maybe later um, 
Another inherent problem here is if you use lead ammo, which you should never use in an automatic in the first place, or if you use uh, a lot of ammo, or even just dirty ammo, you're going to get gunpowder and lead residue all over the feed ramp. And obviously if you get too much crap on the feed ramp, basically you're flirting with disaster. You're going to cause a jam, and then guess what? You're not going to be shooting. And if it's a life or death situation, you're going to look pretty stupid with a gun jammed because, you know, you didn't clean the uh, feed ramp. So yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. This particular gun, like I said, was real dirty and not taken care of very well. That is the main concern for uh, cleaning. It's the only place that really picks up crap. Um, just outside of the slide and all that will, but it doesn't matter. Also, another failing point on this particular gun, which I never use anyways, is the loaded chamber indicator. Um, this particular one failed shortly after it was, you know, a couple hundred rounds. It just, it doesn't go down. It always shows that the chamber is loaded. It doesn't really matter, but it's a problem because it's obviously supposed to be a feature. So, hopefully we didn't do this too fast for you, but it, like I said, goes apart and together the same way as most other guns like this. You see how much tighter that is than like say a Glock. It's really good. Lock it back open. Drop the hammer, yeah. Lever back down. Now you gotta make sure you don't mess any of these up. It has to be up to take it off, up to put it back on, and once you lock it back in, you need to go back down. Drop it. You're all back together. All is good. Make sure your recoil spring is in right, and it is. Light didn't fall off. Everything's shiny. Magazine. We're all good. Um, personally, I haven't shot any of the newer models. I've seen the newer models. They look okay. They're U.S. design, or not design, but manufacture. Um, technically, this is based off the HS2000, if memory serves, which is a Croatian military pistol. So, the Croatians are obviously making some pretty darn good guns. This particular one is a huge success in America. I don't know about anywhere else. It won NRA's Pistol of the Year at least once, and I think it was several times. And the XDM one also once won. So, very, very successful, very good gun. It's a 4.5 out of 5, in my opinion couple of shortcomings nothing real big it's a combat pistol or a service pistol we'll call it service pistol it's not intended for precision accuracy it's not intended for long-range accuracy it's intended for point-and-shoot put the bad guy down um, relatively safe they also make a model that has the safety I believe the XDM's all have the safety and I think you can get a safety for them just like you can get a safety for a Glock <clears throat> This was Josh. Hopefully this was informative. Um, this is another gun that I'm glad to have in my holster. It's a fine gun. Put a few thousand rounds through this one back when I had it. Anyways, we're signing out now. If you have any questions, well, you know how to get a hold of me.